because I had people who believed in me and I had people say to me that this you can do it that's what I want to do to young girls you know young 10 year old girls you're good at riding a bike why can't you be Hannah Barnes why can't you go to the Olympics you know that that's what I want to ignite in them Hi, I'm Shahana. Most of my friends and family call me Shu. I'm a lawyer by day, but most of you guys would know me as a cyclist. I think the word that describes me the best is advocate. My whole life I've been doing advocacy work for the most vulnerable in society to like have the rights that they don't. And I think it's translated over in my cycling work in that uh, I want to make cycling accessible for young women and for Muslim women in particular, I think both in my career I, I had a very non-traditional background but in cycling I'm not usually someone you'd see on a flashy road bike and I think for me it's about communicating that message that actually any one of these girls can like get into cycling any one of these girls get into any type of riding and that they don't have to be me in order to do it that actually just seeing someone like me that they can that is relatable allows them to do it as well I'm one of seven girls, so I have six sisters and none of them are into cycling or sport or exercise in fact and I learnt to ride a bike when I was 20 with a Muslim women's group and it was completely like they provided the bikes and I didn't know what I was doing, I didn't have to balance on a bike. Then I sort of got introduced to Rafa but also my local club have Velo which is local to here in Hackney um, and then I think it kind of sort of progressed from that just naturally meeting other people in the community and getting involved um, and then seeing what I'm really capable of. As, as someone from a very underprivileged family like I might have a middle class job but I come from quite a poor family where I don't remember having nice things, I don't remember having toys let alone fancy bikes, I don't remember we were, you know, I'm one of nine children, you know, and actually having the teachers kind of encourage me and support me and saying, oh, you know, you're really talented and, and you know, you, you can go far in life with my, you know, I was talented in writing, I was talented at, at school. Um, that really pushed me and propelled me to go and be a lawyer, right? Because I had people who believed in me and I had people say to me that this, you can do it. That's what I want to do to young girls. You know, you're 10 year old girls, you're good at riding a bike. Why can't you be Hannah Barnes? Why can't you go to the Olympics? You know, that, that's what I want to ignite in them. When I think about being a lawyer and being in a corporate law firm, where it's, you know, it's a global company and there's like nobody that looks like me. That I found problematic because if I want to progress in my career and there's like no one that looks like me in, um, like the board of directors or anything like that how can then i aspire to be that person i think also it's really really symbolic that teo did his um photo and sort of his pledge to the world around how he wants to make cycling more inclusive and how um, he wants to you know sponsor a young rider and make uh cycling more accessible for people of color of people who may not look like your typical um i don't know tour world tour rider and that he's trying to create that space for people he's he's pledging his support for underprivileged people and i think part of why i wanted to do this is because i got so inspired by him taking that stance on that cycling really should be for everyone The reason I emphasise um, coming from like a low income family where no one had gone to university and going to that Saturday school where they told me at 10 years old, yeah, you can go to uni, shoot, you're going to go far in life, yeah. Um, I feel like there's something to be said for teachers who are supportive and encouraging and tell you that you can go far in life. And I think um, for me, it wasn't up until I was 16, 17 where I had a mentor at Clipper Chance and Gail really changed my life because I didn't have the connections that the law firm was giving me you know 
here was this woman who was educated and she came from an educated family and um, she supported me and gave me like weekly mentoring, mentoring sessions and um, you know I went and met the Prime Minister and all of these things that I would never have done had it not been for her support and it was literally like Shehana at 17 having a mentor at Clifford Chance and then Shehana at 26 qualifying at Clifford Chance there was a direct correlation between the support that I received from that law firm and then me being sponsored and qualifying at one of the best magic circle law firms in the world and I think for me that's what I really want to do with social mobility cycling is not an accessible sport let's be honest you know um, in terms of socio-economic backgrounds the kids from Newham or Tower Hamlets are not going to be able to afford carbon road bikes they're not going to be able to afford all this fancy kit and the stuff that's associated with club riding and i guess for me what i really want to do is is create um, these social mobility programs where i connect kids with athletes kids with brands and get them the support you know if they're talented but they don't have the financial means to progress in in cycling what can we do to make cycling accessible i feel like there's a real responsibility that i feel from myself and i feel like that i would hold brands that i work with accountable to support like the most underprivileged in society because if that's not what cycling is about then you can't claim that cycling is for everybody and i really want to help make cycling for everybody